Thanks, John. So uh, I am Brett Willis. I'm the uh, Adobe Campaign Practice Lead for Accenture in North America. And Adobe came to us and asked us to demonstrate for everyone here uh, Adobe Campaign integrated with Adobe I.O. runtime using a real-world use case, customer use case. So we had actually a, a great fit for this, which was uh, transactional A-B testing. And if you're sitting at a table with some marketers, they may have shifted to the front of their seat because this is really exciting stuff for them. Uh, transactional A-B testing. Uh, traditionally, A-B testing, uh, what is A-B testing? It is a marketing conference. I assume everyone here is familiar with A-B testing, but for the one or two people who aren't, with, with a traditional A-B test with, with email, uh, we, can we can split an email, whether it's subject line or, or content, into variation A or B or even C or more, and target a subset of our audience for an email delivery, and then do some statistical analysis and look at which variation of those emails received better metrics. And that could be open rate or uh, click-through rate, whatever you want to set up uh, for your metric. And in this example, as you can see, we have some dynamic content uh, that's showing in the upper right-hand corner, variation A, variation B. And in this case, variation A performed better. So for the remainder of our audience, we can use that content because we feel like that variation performed better uh, for whatever metric we want to use. Now, this gets a little uh, trickier with transactional messages. So transactional messages are driven by customer actions. So that could be password resets, shipping notifications, order receipts. In this example, we have an e-receipt. And you can see that we want to inject some marketing material into this email delivery. And that's easy if we want to include static marketing material. But if we wanted to do an A B test on that, that becomes a little bit more difficult. So we can do the exact same thing using the power of Adobe I.O. runtime. And what that looks like is we can see that a customer can place an order. And that order is received by I.O. runtime. And it requests a receipt for that order. I.O. runtime can then go out and query the Adobe Analytics API and say, are we running an A-B test for this content? And remember, transactional messages, they're a one-to-one -one message. So we don't have a subset of a, a, an audience that we can do this type of analysis on. We do this as we go. So we have to reach a threshold at some point where we have enough statistical data where we can make a, make a decision on which version of that content performed better inside that transactional message. So IO Runtime receives a request for receipt queries the Adobe Analytics platform and says, are we running a test? If so, uh, we'll choose, choose any uh, A-B content, send it out randomly. If we're not running a test and we already have a determined winner based on the Adobe Analytics data, Adobe I.O. can then choose that winner, send that winner to uh, Adobe Campaign, and Adobe Campaign will send out the delivery. So for this, we actually performed a real demo and Jonathan Wadnicki is going to go through that demo right now for us. And this is a real working demo that we were able to put together very quickly. Thank you, Brett. So what we have prepared for you today is a live demo of the Adobe I.O. runtime solution. Uh, here on my desktop, I've written a script. And what this is going to do is simulate what would happen on the back end. So essentially that uh, graphic that was shown earlier, but in working fashion. So. Adobe I.O. runtime, you're allowed to uh, decouple your code from your implementation. Um, and so here, I've written a quick Python script. So what this will do is it's going to look for a welcome offer to present to a uh, recipient. And this is a sim simulation. So right now, we don't have enough data to choose a winner. It's going to uh, try again. and. Until a threshold is crossed when the system decides there's enough data to calculate which one has the highest open rate, until that threshold is crossed, it's going to continue sending random messages. And so here, it's decided it found a winner. Every subsequent call to this is going to uh, send the same message over and over again. 
And let's take a look at what that looks like in, uh, in Adobe Campaign. So this is Adobe Campaign standard. This is a sandbox we have running. And you'll see that it generated two messages here, welcome offer B and welcome offer A. Here you can gather reports and statistics about these messages. And then here's what it would look like in the client inbo client's inbox. So if we visit here, you'll see that two different op offers were presented, A and B, and A was decided to be the winner. So normally you wouldn't put an offer in the subject line, but for this demo we have that here. Um, and so we have two different offers. We have a free bowl of hot soup and a free ice cream. So uh, that, that's essentially our demo. And uh, remember those two things, hot soup and ice cream, because that's going to play into the next uh, concept we're going to present. Uh, so that, that concludes the demo that we have. Thank you. So you can think of A-B testing as a special case of a solution to what's known as uh, the multi-armed bandit strategy. And this is a problem defined in terms of how do you balance exploitation versus exploration. Uh, here we are. Just imagine for a stretch that we're in front of a series of slot machines. Um, and we want to know which slot machine pays out the most. So we can go and pull all of the different slots and try to figure out which one. But while we're doing that, we're not necessarily getting a payout on that. So, so we want to balance exploration and exploitation. You can think of an A-B test as pure exploration. We're sending out random samples, uh, A and B. And then at a fixed threshold, once that's crossed, we decide to do pure exploitation. Whichever one was best, we're going to use that forever into the future. Now, in my demo, I showed that we had two different offers for sandwiches. One had hot soup, one had ice cream. If this A-B test were conducted in the winter, hot soup would have probably won. And then if we decided in our A-B test that uh, that's what we're going to have forever, it's the best template, it might not necessarily be the case when you know, summer rolls around and maybe ice cream would be more popular. So, so in this set of multi-arm bandit strategies, by using I.O. runtime, we can control the code. We can even adapt uh, machine learning uh, techniques similar to how, uh, how the online ad world works, uh, perhaps via Adobe Sensei. But the client will never have to change their code. They make a single call over to our system saying, just send a message, and we'll figure it out. We'll look at what data we have available. We'll decide, you know, maybe it's time to explore again. Uh, so, so it's an opportunity. Uh, if you're more interested in this type of stuff, uh, some of the other strategies you can look at are um, like epsilon decreasing, where you continue to test forever. So, so for, a, for a transactional message, like an order receipt, which you can, it's not necessarily a one-off campaign, that's what you can look toward. So. Thanks, John. One thing I want to point out real quick was the, the, the code you saw up there, that was us just simulating Adobe I.O. runtime. You guys, you guys won't have to do that. That's the I.O. runtime server receiving those calls. Um, but the multi arm bandit strategies are very interesting because they show you the power of what you can do when you're using the Adobe I.O. runtime serverless code. So, I want to thank you all for your time. If you have any questions at all, please visit our booth in the main conference floor, and um, we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.